Hi guys, Mr. Brady here with an end of year message from myself and the rest of the PE department. We really just wanted to say hi and say well done. You've made it to the end of what has been the most extraordinary year that I think any of you will ever have in your school lives and any of your teachers have probably had in their school lives as well. We want to say a massive well done for all of your commitment in lessons, for all of your extracurricular efforts throughout the year, for everything really that's gone on in school. And it seems like we've been in lockdown for, well, forever at the moment. But actually, we were at school for the majority of the year, and it was a really, really good year, as it always is. We had loads of successes in the PE department. We had loads of brilliant lessons, loads of engagement, loads of commitment from all of you. So a massive, massive, massive thank you from all of us in the PE department. And um, what we wanted to do was try and relive some of our highlights of the year. We are really fortunate in PE that we get to see you in more than just lessons. We get to see you on the sports fields, in other schools, competing, and really that is what we do the job for. And it's kind of made us realise that actually we really, really, really miss coming to school. We really, really, really miss coming to see you guys. And we really can't wait for September. And fingers crossed we are back in September and everything is back to normal, or at least as close to normal as it can be. So we are going to go through some highlights. Each member of the PE department is going to go through a highlight of the year. Any lockdown video wouldn't be complete without a toilet roll, so obviously we need one of these. I'm going to talk through our highlights and at the end show you some pictures of the year. So my two highlights of the year, the first one is the year sevens, who finished uh, second in the county in their tournament on a Saturday morning, a very, very wet, a very, very cold Saturday morning over in Devizes. They got all the way to the final, unbeaten, and just lost out to King Down in the final on a really, really, really good performance from those year sevens. My second highlight is the mighty Year 10 rugby team coming out on top against Sheldon on our house pitch in front of all of us, holding Sheldon out right at the death to not let them score to go through to the fourth round of the National Cup. So they're my two highlights of the year. I'm going to pass this toilet roll on to the rest of the department and we're going to see what their highlights are. So just to finish, thank you very much. Awesome work. Hi everybody, my three highlights are Year 7 girls taking part in their first ever gym competition. All their hard work and team spirit really paid off in a fantastic display. The Year 9 girls going to Bath Rugby Club and taking part in a training session and sumo wrestling. What an amazing setting and, well, I can definitely still feel those uh, sumo body slams. And finally, the senior girls making it to the national finals and competing at the London Aquatic Centre. What an experience. Well, we're not going to forget this year in a hurry, uh, but do make the most of the summer, uh, stay fit, stay healthy, and we really look forward to seeing you all in September. Hello everyone, what a school year. It has been a strange one, but we have finally reached the end of our summer term, and I hope that you and your family are well and staying safe. As always, the year started off as being a busy one, but you all embraced your hard work spirit and got stuck into all your lessons, albeit leadership, as well as our institute of competitions. I have really enjoyed receiving your emails and pictures during the lockdown of how you've been staying physically active at home, and it makes me really proud to see that you are continuing your learning. My personal highlights of the year was our football triumphs of our under 12s and our under 14 girls squad reaching the semi-finals of the Wiltshire Cup and our under 12s going on to make the sixth round of the English schools national competition. My other highlight of the year was our year 8 netball squad who finished in second place at the netball county tournaments. Unfortunately coronavirus stalled all of the progress of this competition and hopefully we can pick them up in September. Anyway, enjoy your summer, and I look forward to seeing you in September. Bye. Hi guys, how's it going? It's um, that time of year now when we should be all playing softball uh, and having enjoyed sports day um, and coming to the end of our year. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't say goodbye in person, um, so we're going to do it like this. I just want to really quickly chat about a couple of my highlights of the year uh, and say how proud I am of, of not only students that have represented the school in teams but of all students in all of my classes. Um, I think my key highlight of the year, and I can honestly put my hand on my heart and say this, is seeing you as students every day. Um, I really, really miss that. I was in summer school last week and just to see some of you uh, was absolutely brilliant again. So that's the key highlight of my year, is seeing you day in, day out, 
um, in our normal teaching lessons um, and our normal after school clubs uh, and that's what I've really really missed. Uh, my other key highlights of the year, I've got three uh, key highlights with, with regards to sport and success. Uh, the first one is my year nine um, boys rugby team who got all the way to the Southwest um, National Rugby um, Finals uh, which was actually held at Chippenham Rugby Club, very handy for us. Um, and they did extremely well uh, to win the plate. Um, the next highlight was the Year 10 boys rugby team who managed to get to the fourth round of the um, NatWest National Cup and we travelled all the way up to Gloucester to play against Crypt School um, and uh, played some outstanding rugby up there. Uh, so that's the Year 10 boys rugby team who I was taking on for Mr Craig. Um, and the other one that I'm really, really proud of is all my boys that I've taught from Year 7 that are now up in the sixth form um, and are now representing the school um, in the sixth form rugby team, in the school first 15. Um, and the key game that I remember there was the game with Beach and Cliff when they supposedly came over with a, um, a second slash third team which was clearly um, had a lot of their first team players in it. Um, and our boys were absolutely outstanding. Um, so there we go. That's my key highlights from the year. Have a great summer. Uh, stay happy, stay safe uh, and stay active. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Over to you. Oh. Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to share some of my highlights from the year with you. Um, there have been quite a few, but I've been asked to select my top one and I'm going to choose my year 10 girls PE group on a Friday morning, periods one and two. You'll know who you are. And the reason I'm choosing this group is because when we first um, started the year, I would describe the group as a little bit lackluster maybe. Um, and they took quite a lot of um, persuasion uh, to take part in certain activities. But as the year have gone on, um, it's just been great to watch this group come out of their shell and really enjoy their PE. And I really liked, in particular, going for our morning runs on a Friday morning. It's something that I kind of look forward to during the week, those runs around our gorgeous school site. Um, so, yeah, I want to uh, use that as my highlight because I think that's what our job is all about, to see a whole group of people um, loving their sport. So well done to all of the, those in that group, but also well done to everybody um, who has contributed to the school teams and done contributed really well during their lessons. You're all superstars and um, we'll look forward to seeing you at the start of next year. Bye. Okay, so I think one of the highlights for me this year has got to be getting to know the year sevens and taking them to all of their netball matches and getting to see how they progressed as the season went on, particularly in the tournament where they managed to win all of their matches. <laughs> the other highlight has got to be being involved with some of our young leaders and I've been so proud taking them to different um, primary events and just seeing how impressive their leadership is. They've been so brilliant and so responsible, whether it's been leading multi-skills events, whether it's been officiating at hockey, netball, rugby, they've been amazing. So thank you so much guys and well done.
some amazing highlights there and hopefully that brought a bit of a smile to some of your faces who were involved in some of those moments out on the sports fields for us. Not sure that Mrs Barton got the message about catching the toilet roll, so apologies about that one. And all it really leads me to say is, once again, thank you very, very, very much for everything, for all of your hard work throughout all of this year. Have a great summer, keep yourself active, keep yourself fit, get outside as much as possible, and we will see you in September. See you later, guys.